This video is about how you can edit your video in Final Cut Pro 10 through your iPad. I've been using an iOS app called Pro Cut X on my iPad to edit videos in Final Cut Pro 10 on my Mac. And it has worked so incredibly good. It's so fast to edit videos on my iPad, but using Final Cut Pro 10 on the Mac. I really like the scrub wheel in Pro Cut X so you can scrub forward and rewind your video exactly frame by frame if you want. I really like that scrub wheel because it makes it so fast to edit videos. And I also like the fast zoom in and out of a video so you can edit the video in detail really fast and then zoom out again. Also so easy to cut and delete parts of your video clips in ProCut X. So by using ProCut X on my iPad I can lay down very comfortably in my bed in my bedroom and edit the video on my MacBook Air that is connected to my 40 inch HDTV. It's so comfortable and so easy and fast to edit videos like that. So I just airdrop my videos from my iPhone 6s Plus to my 11 inch MacBook Air from 2012 and then just lay down in my bed, start Pro Cut X and start editing the video in Final Cut Pro 10 on my Mac. It's incredible. I'm using the really professional app Final Cut Pro 10 through my iPad so I can edit the videos and use all the effects, all the other stuff that you really need to use in Final Cut Pro 10. I can use in ProCut X on my iPad. It's incredible. ProCut X uses the same Wi-Fi connection as the MacBook Air does, so that's why this works without any lag at all. It's really smooth and fast to edit the video and using the scrub wheel and all that. You don't see any lag at all. It feels like you're actually editing the video on your iPad. It's incredible. I can highly recommend ProCut X for your iPad. And in the very few times I really need to navigate with a mouse or something, I use the mobile mouse app on my iPhone. So I can have uh, the mouse or the trackpad in my iPhone 6s Plus using the mobile mouse app while recording the video in ProCut X on my iPad. And this works so good. It's actually way better for me than using a physical hardware keyboard and a real mouse because I can be anywhere in my room. I don't have to be near the computer through Bluetooth and so on. I can be anywhere and I can lay down very comfortably and it's actually really fast, faster to use ProCut X on the iPad because of the scrub wheel and all that. You don't have a scrub wheel in Final Cut Pro 10 on your Mac. So by using this app, you actually get uh, uh, an expensive scrub wheel to edit videos. You know, these scrub wheels can be bought in a hardware format but by using ProCut X you get both a virtual scrub wheel and all other things that you need to edit videos in Final Cut Pro 10 on your Mac but you're using your iPad while editing the videos. It's incredible really. This has actually taken my YouTube videos and video editing to the next step so I think my videos will be a lot better now and have a lot more features in them and more effects and better texts on top on the videos and all that. And I can more easily and faster cut away long parts where I have pauses when I don't say anything and so on. And I can cut away a few frames between the words I'm saying so I can speed up the video for you and so on. All these things are much easier and faster to do with ProCut X on my iPad while using Final Cut Pro 10 on my Mac. So once again, I can highly recommend using ProCut X on your iPad to edit videos in Final Cut Pro 10. So 
It feels actually as you have Final Cut Pro 10 on your iPad. It's so good. Okay, bye.